that moment when a video game inspires you to go to a literal castle. <laughs> Kingdom Come Deliverance has not only opened my eyes in terms of just the world and history, but it's also opened my eyes in terms of adventure. Just look at that right there. That is an actual 14th century castle. This was built all the way back in the 1300s. And this is before Kingdom Come Deliverance and it's still standing. And that is completely mad. Farley Hungerford Castle, fortified mansion with a sinister past. <laughs> I could voice their bloody trailer. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. Such a beautiful day to be doing this as well. Feels like I'm in bloody Kingdom Come Deliverance right now. You can see the old um, window arches. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that's so cool. Super secret behind the scenes. <laughs> Hello, Soraya. Go, go subscribe to her channel. Link in the description. What, what's the name of the channel? Just my name, Soraya Adams. Soraya Adams? Ooh, fancy. I've just noticed this. This probably would have been extra rooms or buildings because you can see the foundations leading up i don't know how far we can go into it i'm sure we can probably step down here so obviously it would have been built up here and you've got another room here so i'm assuming that maybe this was i don't know like a pantry or an inner wall yeah but if you look this way yeah it does drop down. Well, unless that is a moat down there, because of course this was in the 1300s, so moats would have been a thing. I'm just trying to place what that could have been. It doesn't connect, no, it's on a higher level. That's really interesting. Okay, this may be the coolest thing we've seen so far. So obviously over the years, this of course has all fallen down, but I love that the steps are still here. And I'm going to right now step on the step where they would actually have walked. So they would have climbed up here and round, and this probably would have gone up even higher than this. I'm assuming probably around the same height as that one up there, which is absolutely insane. I can't believe that those steps are still here after all this time. 1300s. Like, what? Set in the magnificent rolling countryside, Farley Hungerford is one of the most remarkable surviving castles in the southwest of England. <laughs> Doing my sexy whisker voice. Um, Sir Thomas Hungerford, a former Speaker of the House of Commons and self-made man, began building the castle around 1380. The castle was an architectural statement of his new wealth and was laid out on a massive square plan with towers at each corner. So That's here incredible. it says tombs and paintings in steel glass, and I think they are lead tombs. Lead tombs. So heading down here, you've actually got the old steps coming down. But the fact that the bridge there, is incredible. That's crazy, you can actually see the inside of the building. We'll go over there in a second. So you do that quest where you have to try and get the um, gear from inside Townburg Castle and you have to go into the guard tower. This is literally what that would have looked like on the inside. <laughs> this is a guard tower. Wow, so you can imagine this would have been a lot higher than this. This would have been the old gatehouse. So I'm assuming you would have entered... I guess over that bridge. Yeah, so you would have come over the bridge here and then you would have turned around so you would have been walking in this direction and then someone would greet you in a horse and cart and then you'd be like oh yes I'm here to see Lady Lady Edna and then you'd get out of the cart and then you'd walk inside the inner court which obviously doesn't exist 1640s I do believe that's well over there well, well, well. <laughs> Sorry. Entertainment and display area. Entertainment and display. What, what do they have? Like a 40 inch, you know, just an Xbox One. Yeah. Xbox yeah. One. So oh, hello. hello. <laughs> YouTube Inception right now. Yes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're a bit blurry. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm always blurry. Don't worry. <laughs> this is why I don't show my face on video. Wait, is that a 13th century puddle? Yes, it's the 13th oh my god. <laughs> Either that or Henry had a big wee. I don't know if you can see down there, but that's uh, very extreme. Can try. Oh my god, that is deep, isn't it? Um, and you can imagine they've probably opened that little hatch and put someone down it. <laughs> oh yeah, many prisoners went down there. Hello. Welcome into Mostly Haunted with your host, Evelyn Wondersnatch. There's probably ghosts here, many ghosts, ghosts of people and old people and medieval people, knights in armour, you know, those kind of people. I don't know, probably. Anyway, I'm here to investigate the Well of the South, is what I'm going to call it, because I don't know the actual name of it. But there's probably a ghost in there, it's probably terrifying. <laughs> Built in the late 1300s, this well was created for one purpose, and one purpose only, to house those that had done wrong. Over the years, many sounds have been heard, knocks and bangs and crashes. I dropped the pans in the kitchen, I'm so sorry. But in today's video, we will be experiencing Farley Hungerford Castle, and hopefully find ghosts, probably. So basically, I read up a bit about it before. Yeah, and um, I should have done that, I suppose. <laughs> And it's obviously gone down through the family line. Yeah. I do believe to the 17th to 1800s. God. But he had a gambling addiction. He gambled it away. So, and it went to a different family and then it ended up um, being abandoned, I do believe. The crypt. Ooh, ghosts. Built in the late 1500s, the crypt held one thing bodies. What else do you expect? Many people have reported getting cold in this area. Unfortunately, someone just left the fridge open. I'm noticing how um, creepy everything is in black and white. I don't know if I want to go down here or not. <laughs> I mean, um, Mostly Haunted stops for no person. Shall we go in the chapel first? I, I, want, I want to go in the crypt. <laughs> but look, it's, the, uh, it's in black and white and everything. It's willing me. It's willing me, Soraya. I want to see dead bodies, goddammit. <laughs> Mostly haunted could wait. Oh my god, it's the sword in the stone. Are you Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quick, give it a pull. Oh, that was easy. Well, now you're the king, so I don't really know what else you could do. <laughs> it's a little blue. It's a, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's very wobbly, what the hell? Farley Hungerford was sized, seized by royalist forces in Damn. 1643, um, but recaptured by Parliament. Okay, so Sir Edward Hungerford inherited it in 1657, yeah. but then he gambled. <laughs> Everything and, away. Yeah, basically, yeah, and had to sell the property. Yeah. Would they have had shoes? Will they have had shoes? Um, yes. They would have had, yeah, giant slippers. They would have been uh, okay. living so, the life. So no, they wouldn't. They would have had literally, they would have had like pieces of fabric on their feet, maybe yeah. made out of leather. Um, yeah. So it would not have been comfy walking on this now. Hop in, Soraya. There you go. So there's just a hole down here. So um, I'm kind of scared because I don't think I can get back out. You <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm quite short. So. <laughs> she is very, very short. Um, why don't you hop in that hole? What? Just because of my size, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going in the hole. Going in the hole. I feel bad doing this. Here we go. I'm going to fall oh. and die. Here oh. we go. Oh. You better be filming this. This is, this is a lot of work. Yeah. You know, I'm I just <laughs> haggling my feet. Okay. That's I'm in the hole. It's very um. Yeah. I'm in difference. the hole. <laughs> I'm taller than you. <laughs> oh, you are now. <laughs> I'm always the tallest. I'm glad someone's taller than me. The world's tidiest path. We have to go one foot at a time. You ready? Here we go. One foot at a time. <laughs> so that would have been another tower. You can even see the steps coming up. So this would have been all a tower like the one that's over there. And that would have been all built up and it would have probably been up to about here. That's crazy. So where do you think the steps would have been? Because 
I was thinking it was this, but that doesn't really make any sense. Although, maybe it came down here? Oh, that does look a bit better than, than gone up. Gone up. I don't know. I don't really know. Unless they have two staircases. <gasps> Come this way. Okay. Look up. I thought you were going to say there was a person up there, wasn't it? Look. There's the stairs. There's the original set of stairs. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let me get a zoom in on that. See, yeah, there they are right there. The original so, stairs. So apparently you see these in Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these are in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. They actually run through most of the small towns. Um, but of course, back then, they were mostly made of dirt because it was easier. Yeah. Um, but the fact that this is actually stone is really interesting. Hey, look, guys, we found Teresa's bush. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So this is the priest's house. There it is. Very fancy. Look at it. Just swaying around. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. 1430, this was built. Um, so this would have been, what, 20, 27 years after Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is interesting. Um, it was expanded and continued in use as a farmhouse from the mid 16th century until 1959. So that's what it would have originally looked like. So you would have had the, that would be that tower here, I'm assuming. And the entrance would have gone through there. So you would have rode in on your stallions and you would have had our oh, beautiful garden which would have been there so right now we're in this area i think inside the priest's house um where obviously the priest lived this is where we are right now so we are in this building here so this would have been here i think from the 1600 onwards as it is now. That's so weird, we literally just walked down here. Um, and I'm stood right over here. <laughs> That's so bloody bizarre, I'm stood right there. So, as you guys can see, right there. I don't know if you're allowed to go upstairs, we're gonna find out one way or another. Okay, try to not get told off, I'm hoping. Oh no, you are allowed up here. So, you've actually got fragments of, of plates and bowls and stuff from the 17th to 18th century. That's so cool. It's like me when I wake up. <laughs> what? Is that hand trying to do the Spider-Man thing? <laughs> where it's doing the whole, where it's doing the whole... <laughs> so it's a tobacco stopper, so they would, I guess, hold that bit and then... Yeah. Put my hand up it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is going to be most interesting for obviously the people who watch Kingdom Come Deliverance. And here we actually have some of the armor that they would have worn. So you have mid 17th century armor here uh, with that really nice, what is that, a saber? Look at that. It's beautiful, a cutlass. Uh, and here you have some armor from. Uh, buffalo hide armor. Damn, look at this. So this is actually Hungerford armor, which is where we're located at the moment. Plus, obviously this is way after Kingdom Come Deliverance this time, but you've got a, uh, a musket there. Wow. But yeah, that kind of looks like KCD armor with that helmet. It's pebbles. It's, pe <laughs> it's pebbles in the end. Yeah, it's pebbles in the end. It's perfect. <laughs> So this is a Bible, um, but it's not actually the Bible, it's her Bible, uh, because due to a printing error, <laughs> it was called her Bible. <laughs> That's really interesting. This dates 1611. How would they have printed it? Oh, you know, they have Epsons, you know, and some, some nice Dells. <laughs> um, don't you hit people with those? <laughs> <laughs> Can you take the Can audio I... box for me? Of the audio box? Yes, thank you. Here. So, <laughs> I'm just going to hit rocks with this. No, no, you, 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 I think they do, don't they? What? Smack my bum. There you go. Oh! Oh! Saucy! This actually shows where everything is at the moment. Um, but they probably would have put, I reckon they would have actually put the hymns on it. 
Oh, and then hit you with it. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of feels like um, the little chapels you find in Kingdom Come with the paintings on the wall. So you have obviously the windows all in their beautiful glory. Look at that one. That's absolutely beautiful. You get a better shot there. Wow, that's amazing. So if you've played Kingdom Come Deliverance, then you've seen quite a lot of these in obviously all the different chapels in the game. Um, and I'm guessing they were here as well. So there's actually quite a few if you look up. So I'm not actually sure if there's anyone inside these. I'm assuming possibly there is. Um, because I'm guessing that this is the mausoleum and they would hold two people in these as you can obviously see by the bodies that are on top. So we've actually got some what looks like Old English or maybe even Latin. We've got Edward I or just Edward but spelt differently. We've got Hungerford but with a V. Um, Honourables, Dominus, yeah, I think this is Latin, um, but there's quite a lot on here. So I'm assuming that buried here is Edward Hungerford. Okay, down the steps we go, slowly but surely. Oh, this is actually quite low. <laughs> God damn, I have to bend right down to be able to get in here. Okay, slowly but surely. Try not to hit my head on the ceiling. Oh, wow. That's incredible. So those are actually lead crypts. So in there are different bodies. Okay, so we're just gonna be leaving in a minute, but last thing we wanted to do was quickly come over to this other tower because there's a whole other tower here, which is obviously a lot smaller than the other one. But still, you can see obviously the outline of it and just how high it would have been. It's just such a shame that these places got left like they did. And I'm so grateful of the English heritage that have taken these places on board and are actually keeping them safe. Oh, it's the Virgin Mary. Oh, wow, we're blessed this day. <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised. <laughs> Henry's come to see us. No, that's, that's the wrong line. So uh, we're heading back now. It's, getting, it's starting to rain, yeah. It's raining. It's raining, it's pouring. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like down below if you did. Also comment, tell us your favorite part. Also, Soraya, go follow her on Twitter. Follow me. Soraya Adams, comment, link in the description below. Also, YouTube, link in the description below. Yeah. And, and here, if I remember. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, that's us. Bye. Out. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>